Now, this is our nine piece element. So it has the four corners, four sides, and the center. You see the different parts down here. Now, if you want to change the color of these, you have to change each part down here. Now, a handy thing to do is if you're going to use a color quite a bit, say such as this one, once you choose your color, if you right click on it and click reference to color, push it. you have that references that color to color one. Now, from now on, instead of trying to find which color you wanted in the section, you can simply right click on the color you want to change and click on reference to color one. And that will change that section. If you go through each section here, I'm just changing this light blue ones. Change the reference color one. Now once you've changed all the colours, you'll see it's changed there. Have the FB2 screens, how you want them. You just click on here to toggle to landscape view, just to double check everything there. You notice a few changes need to be done here as well. Just do the same again here, go through each element you want to change, change the colours to whichever you want. You'll notice a little glitch down here where the wrong panel is inserted. Just ignore that because when it comes on your phone it will be okay. It just seems to be a little glitch in card mode. You just go through each screen and Change your colours to whichever you want. Now, once you have everything looking okay, last thing to check is if you go back to FP1, then check the landscape view in there. This is all really just to make sure it's compatible with as many phone types as possible. If you're just doing something for yourself and your own phone, you won't need to be so fussy. Just check all the screens again. Just to make sure there's nothing we've missed. And then everything looks okay. Now the only thing left to do now. Now here's something handy, if your screens ever get in a mess, not how you like them. If you click on window, then click reset perspective, click OK, and it'll set out all the windows back to how you had them at the start again. It's quite handy if you accidentally close windows or anything and you can't get them back. Once you're happy with all the changes, just click on File and Save. Now uh, what you need to do now is make your keys. Click Tools and Handle Key Pairs. As you see, I've already got my keys in here. If you click on New, type in a name for your key pair. And password then click make keys now fill in all this info here not sure whether this is all really necessary or not
with the validity five years you can change it if you want this is the way I'm leaving it and this is where it saves your key files to under C documents and settings just put in my password and then confirm the password and click generate that's your key done and accept password and once that's done click save now that's your keys saved click close Key pairs made, you only need to do that once. You've got the tools, create new package. What you do is select the platform of your phone, which in my case it's third edition, perhaps one or two. In your theme name, just leave that automatic. This info is just really for your own reference, so you can either fill it in or not. Down here is all the elements that have changed in the theme you've edited. So for instance, if you uncheck icons, and you get a smaller file size, but whoever downloads it will just have your default icons. Of you want to be particular and make sure you save the icons you've got here with it, and just leave that picked. And just click next. That should automatically pick your key pair here. You can choose it if you have another one. And then click finish. Stick in the back. That's because I've already been messing about with this theme. It depended how big your theme is, is how long this will take. Should take more than a few minutes at the most. Now that's it finished. Now you have a choice here of launching the transferring tool, which is your Nokia suite, or just select no if you want to transfer it some other time. And that's your package saved.